Columbia's become an epicenter of anti-Semitism on campus, and billionaire alumni don't want to support it anymore. In fact, one of them, Leon Cooperman, has even called these students effing crazy. Robert Kraft, Patriots owner, said Monday he was ending his donations immediately for failing to keep Jewish students safe. He joins billionaire investor Leon Cooperman, who ended his donations to the school in October after the Hamas attack. They may also be joined by billionaire industrialist Len Blavatnik, who told us he could also consider ending donations. Now, these three men have given over $100 million to the school in recent years, and their decision to close their wallets could mean a real cash crunch for the school. School's also getting squeezed in other ways. Its so-called annual fund, which covers the cost of scholarships and student life, has seen participation among donors drop 25 to 30 percent this year as a result of the school's inability to make Jewish students feel safe on campus. Now, donors don't necessarily have a solution to this problem. Leon Cooperman told us he doesn't want Columbia's president ousted. Instead, he thinks the problem may be more systemic and far-reaching. He said the school needs to, quote-unquote, stop hiring these left-wing professors that fill kids with hate. Other prominent alumni, including bank CEOs, media CEOs, billionaire hedge fund managers, and titans of private equity who graduated from Columbia, have remained silent, but they're getting pressed to speak up. Jonathan Greenblatt, head of the Anti-Defamation League, told us he's pushing alumni to step up and speak out and make sure the school understands this won't be tolerated.